I mean, one of the things that that I think is commonly observed, and, and actually it, it's quite sad, and, and perhaps it, it reflects why I think that thinking carefully about how you gather your data and and how you store store it and how you manage it is that stories of postgrad students losing all of their data, all of their thesis, etc., at late stages, and it being the only copy that existed, um, it convinces me that you have to think carefully about um, about the disaster, if you like. What happens if my hard drive dies? What happens if I lose this USB stick? I have recorded these lectures at you know, a location away from my university and I am carrying this data recorder home, hours and hours of, of, of research data sitting on that. How, how do I protect myself against those losses? Um, and some of that, of course, actually is, is it's the backup question. You know, do you regularly back up? But you have to think about backup not just in terms of from this computer onto some store somewhere, but but from this device on which I have gathered my precious research materials onto something else so that I've got a duplicate. Um, so I think that there are, there are some, some questions that you should always ask yourself about how well am I covered against unexpected losses. Um, my baggage goes missing as I fly home. Um, or you know, I use, lose the USB stick on, on my way home. You know, where is the spare copy? Because it, it, it's those incidents, I think, that, that uh, a PhD student would find very demoralising, partly. And, of course, actually, it may have a significant impact on, on time from their point of view, because redoing work actually could be very difficult, sometimes not possible. So there are some very practical aspects to research data management, which are just about the nitty-gritty of making sure that, that if the disaster strikes, it isn't actually a disaster.